All right, what's up guys? Talking about programming today. One of the biggest questions I get asked about programming, how I do it, why I do it, what I'm doing it for. And they're all great questions, right? And the answer is pretty simple. You just do what I say. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but uh, the answer is really complicated actually because it has a lot to do with what your goals are. And whether that be you're trying to be a competitive CrossFitter, you're trying to be fit, just an everyday fit person, or you know, whether you want to go into something specific, uh, maybe you want to run a marathon, maybe you want to try to do an Ironman, maybe you want to, I don't know, swim across the English Channel, who knows? Whatever your crazy goals are, you know, out there. So, right, because that's what our goals are, they're always high and big and crazy and outlandish. So, yeah, I think that's kind of how you have to start to think about your programming. What, what are your goals? What are you doing it for? And then you can start to go from there, right? So, um, a good base, obviously, when you're doing programming is you all, you're, um, you know, if you're trying to get strong, then you're gonna emphasis, have an emphasis on strength, right? And whether it be Olympic weightlifting or powerlifting, deadlifting, bench, you know, those types of things, then that's what you're gonna wanna have a focus on. You're gonna have progressions for that, right? If we don't do a progression, typically you can't see uh, where you're, how you're, how you're doing, right? So everything's typically is a progression. Some stuff's not, you know, the stuff that you have on the backside to where you're just uh, trying to maintain maybe isn't so much a progression, but you know, you always have an idea of what you're capable of doing. So um, that's, a, that's a good starting place, right? So when I'm thinking, when I'm coming in right now, I'm thinking about what, I'm, what my goals are, what, I, uh, what I'm trying to do, and then that's where I kind of lean my programming towards. CrossFit style is really simple, right? When you're programming CrossFit workouts, you're doing functional movements constantly varied, done at a high intensity. And so that's, that part's pretty simple. You just wanna constantly be changing it up, making sure that you're not over, not emphasize too much on one thing in a CrossFit workout to where it's a nice, a nice good, even distri distribution throughout the workout to where, say, if you're doing power cleans, what am I gonna pair the power cleans with? Uh, maybe I'll pair them with pull-ups or maybe I'll pair it with rope climbs or maybe I'll pair it with burpees or maybe I'll pair it with a, um, a machine, uh, see how much I can get my heart rate up, right? So that's kind of what I typically start to think about in CrossFit, right? As an athlete, you want to be able to do lift weights or do gymnastics movements or calisthenics and you want to do them, be able to do them with high heart rates. So that's kind of a lot of times where I lead my programming towards. All right, so I'm gonna do 185 pile power cleans, I'm gonna do five muscle ups and I'm also gonna row 500 meters. And I'm gonna do that for however many rounds. Uh, or maybe I'm gonna do intervals that day. And you're, you know, you're changing it up every day. Some days I do rounds, some days I do intervals, some days I do 30 minute workouts, some days you do 10 minute workouts, right? Constantly varied, that's CrossFit. Now when you're leaning towards just a general purpose, uh, a GPP, you know, you're just trying to be fit for everyday life, then what I'm gonna start to do is I'm gonna start to back out some of those more sports specific uh, style of uh, movements. Uh, things I would take out, handstand push-ups, handstand walking, you know, uh, pistols. Some of these movements, you can do them. I'm not saying I don't like these movements. I'm just saying they're, they have a little bit more higher risk as opposed to some other stuff that you could do that where you could hit the same muscle groups, right? Because when you're just trying to be fit, you know, you don't need to be doing a pistol. You could do a lunge, you could do a box step up. Um, and you don't have to worry about maybe causing some some joint pain or you know getting in bad position. Handstand push-ups, right? You're bouncing your head off the ground a little bit, right? So you're maybe compromising your neck. Where you could do a strict dumbbell press or a, a military press, or you could be just doing a push-up. There's the, there's those those types of things that you start to think about, right? When you're starting to just program for general purpose, right? You kind of start to remove the uh, the sexy fun stuff that everyone likes to do, and you definitely start to just hit more of like grinder style of stuff. For my military program, that, that you know, you get a little bit of that flair in there, but for the most part, that program is based on how I programmed myself for when I was going in uh, to, to try to become a Navy SEAL. So when I programmed that, I put a little bit of that in there just to have some fun in the gym, but a lot of those workouts are just pure grinders, and they will get you really, really fit. But yeah, it's not quite the big sexy stuff that a lot of people like to do all the time, like heavy snatches or heavy cleaning jerks. You definitely will lift, lift weights and you will get strong, but maybe not so much on the Oli side of things. But you do do those because they do have 
a good transition into speed and agility and you're definitely still gonna get some strength out of that kind of stuff, obviously. And then uh, when it comes to monostructural, you know, there's a, so much data out there, right? For run, how to run, how to bike, how to row, things like that. Like those programs are already kind of out there. So, you know, you don't have to reinvent the wheel on that. It's a periodization, right? You're gonna start out with long, slow, build your capacity, and then you're gonna start to move into more shorter, faster intervals with stuff. Uh, and that's how you typically gain capacity for those monostructural type of, uh, of workouts. And so I start to implement that into my program as well, right? So not only will I do the monostructural stuff by itself, but then I'll also start to implement it into the CrossFit. That in itself will actually, actually also make it fun. So it's a lot of information, you know, it's a lot of different things to think about, a lot of things to take on, but that's my general layout on how I look at programming and how I start to structure stuff. Find your goal, what you're looking to accomplish, what you want to get out of it at the moment, what you're looking to go use your fitness for, and then if it's not for something specific, obviously then you're going to GPP, and then we're really just looking at, you know, basic CrossFit style of uh, of uh, programming, right? It's constantly varied functional movements uh, done at different time domains and um, done at high intensity. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to come check out my program, the link's down below, uh, check it out. We offer competitive and also uh, GPP, which is basically for my military style people, uh, which is definitely a format that I came up with that how I trained to go and um, when I, for my time in the military. And then we also have a workout that you get to pick from where there's you know limited time and limited equipment so we have it all hope it helps hope you enjoyed it comment down below let me know what you think subscribe do the thing and as always don't forget to pay the man <laughs>